What's up guys, Brad with Nonstop Tuning, and today we are installing the Idler and Tensor Pulley Kit. After almost two years of testing, the new pulley kit is ready for release. The Idler and Tensor pulleys are hard anodized in a way that makes them much stronger than the previous version. In fact, the unique graphite gray color on these pulleys is a result of the hardest type of anodizing available for T6 aluminum. We're going overkill with the anodizing on this kit. Packed with SKF bearings, some of the best on the market, we're sourcing them ourselves to ensure that we get the highest quality bearings possible. These bearings are rated for a higher range of RPM, higher than what these engines will see. They're rated higher than the bearings in the OEM, Toyota, and Subaru pulleys, and are backed with our full one-year warranty. All right, so the first step is we're gonna take off the intake, that way we can gain access to the front of the engine. All right, the second step, uh, obviously you need to take off your belt so that we can gain access to the pulleys here. You can just move it out of the way so you don't have to take it all the way off. So when installing these pulleys, you don't have to do them in a particular order. I'm gonna start with the smooth pulleys first and then work my way to the ribbed. One piece that you're not going to use when installing these is the washer piece that came with the OEM pulleys as they're not needed. We recommend not using an impact when tightening your bolts as the shock from the impact could potentially weaken the bearings. This is rare but it can happen. Hand tight with hand tools is plenty enough. I have only about 20,000 miles and my OEM pulley bearings are already showing signs of play. Bearings are wear and tear items and upgrading to the non-stop tuning pulleys with serviceable bearings and keeping an eye on them after every few drift or track days should help in this department. When you're installing these, make sure that, of course, uh, when you're done putting them in, actually uh, spin freely. Now for the last pulley, we're almost done. Obviously the name goes out, so you can show it off. That's it. Now to put the belt back on. Check to make sure that the belt is aligned on all the pulleys and it looks like we're good to go. All right guys, that's it. Once you put the belt on, uh, make sure everything's tight, of course, before you put the belt on and start it up. But once you get everything on there, start it up, make sure everything's good. Uh, I wanna touch base back on whenever I did an older video for the lightweight crank pulley, the alternator pulley, and the water pump pulley. I've done a drift event since then. I've done a lot of daily driving since then. I will say that it revs a lot happy. The RPMs fall a lot quicker. It seems to be an overall um, 
smoother idle. So the problem with these cars is they typically have kind of that torque dip where it's really luggish through a certain range of RPMs. Once I've installed those, which I'm tuned as well, which helps take that away, but it's still there. So once I installed these guys, it pretty much took it all the way away. Um, it, like I said, it revs happier, it falls quicker, um, feels a lot better driving. I can feel it in my feet when I'm driving. Um, it did really well at the drift event. Uh, I'm super floored with it, so we're good to go.